Hey party people, my name is Daryl and today I'm going to show you all how to add social login to your WordPress website. I got a lot of requests to do this video, so I figured I would go ahead and make it for you all. So this is my current WordPress website, but let's say you have a website where people can log into your website, maybe access their product or something. I'll show you how you can in incorporate a social login. So here we have continue with Facebook and we also have continue with Google. So Google and Facebook are the two probably most popular social platforms out there. So I'll show you how to use it with both. So for example, I'll click on continue with Facebook. It'll go ahead and log the user in with Facebook and it'll bring them to their account. So it's a very clean and a very fast and efficient way on how users can log into your WordPress website without having to enter in their credentials. And then you'll see they have access to their orders or any other stuff that they want to do. Okay, so now I'll show you all the experience of logging in with Google. So let's say, for example, you want people to log in with Google via their Gmail account or YouTube account or whatever Gmail account that they have. Here you'll click on continue with Google. And then you'll just go ahead and select the Gmail account or their Gmail account, whatever. And uh, that's it. So now it's going to go ahead and log them into the website where they can access all of their stuff in their account. So I'll show you how to set all this up. It's really, really simple. It's a free plugin and it does not cost you anything whatsoever. All right, party people. So let's get started. So the first thing you'll do is you'll install a free plugin. So you'll go to your dashboard and you'll go to the plugins and you'll go ahead and activate a plugin. So you'll go to plugins and you'll click on add new. Then under search plugins, we will type in Nextend. Now this is probably the most popular social, um, the most social login uh, plugin out there. There are quite a few, but so you'll click on install and then you'll click on activate. All right, cool. So now on the left side of your screen, you'll go to settings and you'll see Nextend social login. So before we go ahead and use it for Gmail and for um, Facebook, we need to go ahead and create an app and also an API. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable mine and start from scratch with you all just to show you how it works. And then we'll go to, we'll first do Facebook. So here I'll go to settings. Okay. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to create an app for Facebook. Now this is pretty simple. It sounds difficult, but it's really not. So you'll go ahead and click on this link right here. Now I have already made an account. So what it's going to tell you to do is that it's going to tell you to sign up. You're going to have to go through some verification process. Uh, you'll have to give them like a phone number or email. And once you go through all of the verification process, it'll take you to Facebook for developers apps. So if you want to get to this screen, you can go ahead and type in this URL and it'll take you to this specific page. Now, again, you will have to go through some verification. So go ahead and verify your accounts. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and create an app. So the first thing you'll do is when you get to this page, of course, I have a lot. So for you, there'll probably be nothing. So what you'll do is you'll click on create app. So we have three different options. We have manage business, integrate a third party gaming app and for everything else. So I will click on for everything else. So give your app a display name. So this will just be, um, I'll just do my website. So WP Zenith. I don't even know why I, I gave it this name guys. It's just something that I have. So I, it has no meaning to it. So what I'll do is I will create an app ID and I will go through their lovely security check to make sure I'm not a robot and click on submit. All right, cool. So now I have been brought to this screen. So when you're brought to this screen, just click on the Facebook login and click on setup. All right. So it wants to know what app we're going to use. So obviously we're going to use a website. So go ahead and click on web. So what is the URL of your website? Now you want to make sure that you grab in the HTTPS. So right here, you'll see that this application, I'm sorry, this plugin has already given you what to put. So what I'll do is I will paste that in there. So HTTPS. So I don't think you put the www, you know, guys, Facebook's weird. You know, I, I don't know, man. I mean, it's just, the, it's, that's the rules. Uh, once you're done with that, you'll click on save. All right. So now that we entered in the URL of our website, we don't need to do any of this stuff over here. We're not going to use it. So on the left side, you're going to see settings, click on settings. All right. So you want to make sure that this is on the client O auth login and you want to make sure that under this url the application will actually give you the actual link to put so this is the link that you need to have we'll go ahead and copy this link go back over here and i'll go ahead and paste that in there like that 
Once that's done, we will click on Save Changes. All right, cool, so pretty easy. So on the left side, you'll see Settings. Click on Settings and click on Basic. This is where we need to enter some general information about our website so Facebook knows what's being accessed and all that good stuff. So here you have your display name. So this is the display name of when users go to login, this is what they're going to see. So make sure this is something that represents your websites. You'll put in your contact email. Now you will need to put a privacy policy URL and also a terms of service URL. Now, if you don't have one, you can go ahead and make one. Uh, just go to your WordPress website and make a page. So go to your website and I guess you can make a page, a privacy policy page, and then just put in all your privacy policy and your terms of service. And what you'll do is you'll go ahead and copy the link for your privacy policy and your terms of service. And you'll go ahead and paste it in here like that. Now for the category, I'm gonna select business and pages because that's what my uh, app represents. Now for the app icon, you guys will need to go ahead and find a good way to size it. You know, Facebook is really picky about their app icon. So it must be these dimensions and it also must be PNG. It cannot have a white background. So uh, I don't really even have anything that actually fits this criteria. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this blank. So if you leave it blank, uh, Facebook will put in something for you automatically. Also make sure to add in the website here. So I entered zenithwp.com. So for the app domains, make sure that you enter in your website. So mine is zenithwp.com. And next for the app purpose, I'll select yourself or for your business. So I'm basically saying that this information is being used specifically for my business. And then we'll go ahead and scroll down. They have some COVID stuff right here. Uh, I don't even know uh, how that works, but we don't need to mess around with that stuff. And um, make sure your website URL is located right here. And once you're done with all of that, you'll click on Save Changes. And that's it, you're all ready to go. So if you want your app to go live, what you'll need to do is click on this in Developments. So what this is gonna do is it's going to tell Facebook that this is ready for live. So I want this to be live mode. So what I'll do is click on Switch Mode. And perfect, so now we have, uh, this app is live. So what we're now gonna do is integrate this with our WordPress website. So we'll take this app ID right here, go back to our WordPress websites. Now under the Facebook section, you'll see the settings. Go ahead and click on settings. So for the app ID, I'll go ahead and paste it in there. You guys can see I was doing this earlier. And then also for the app secret, you'll click on show. You'll go ahead and enter in your Facebook password now we have the secret key. So what I'll do is I'll go back over here and I will paste that in there and click on save changes. So now that we've actually saved it to our website, we need to go ahead and verify it. So what I'll do is click on verify settings. So now you'll see WP Zenith will receive your name, profile picture, email address, and then we have this placeholder image. So I will say, okay, I will continue as Daryl. And you can see right here, the test was successful. So now I want to go ahead and enable this. So I'll click on enable. So congratulations, now people can log in via Facebook on your website. Now, before we go to Google, I just want to make one small adjustment. You will need to make one change to your website in order to let people register through their social networks. So what you'll do under the settings, you'll click on general. And under the membership, you want to make sure that anyone can register. So this must be checked. If this is not checked, it will not work, guys. So just make sure that's checked, all right? Have that checked and then click on Save Changes. So awesome. So now we have Facebook all ready to go and we, and we tested it, so now we know it's working. So let's go ahead and do the Google one. So what I'll do is I'll go to the, uh, what is it? We'll go to the Settings and go to Next and Social Login. And here we have Google. So what I'll do is go to settings and now we're going to authenticate this with Google as well. So here I'll click on getting started and we'll also need to navigate to this specific API. So I'll go ahead and click on this. Okay, so I got brought to my API dashboard. Now, if it brings you anywhere else like the library or something, uh, you'll wanna go ahead and make sure that you go to your dashboard. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is go to credentials. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some credentials that allows us to create an API key. So you'll see this create credentials, go ahead and click on this. 
And now we have these options. So we have API keys, we have a client ID, and we also have a service account. You'll go ahead and select the client ID one right here. So go ahead and click on this one here and then go ahead and give it an application type. So this is going to be a web application and you can go ahead and give this a name. So I'll just do WP Zenith websites. Now for the authorized redirect URLs, you'll click on add URL. Now you'll go back to your app and I believe it has this link here. We'll go ahead and copy this link and then we'll go back and then we'll go ahead and paste that link in there. Now by default guys, it will update your website. So it's not going to say my website, it'll be your website. So just to make that clear. And then once you're done with that, you'll click on create. And that's it. We're all done. So now we have created an API key. So here is our client ID. I'll go ahead and copy this. And what we'll do is say, I'm done setting up my Google app. I'm done. And it'll take us to settings. So I'll go ahead and put in my client ID. And then also we have our secret key. So I'll go ahead and copy this, this bad boy. And then I will put that in there and save changes. All right, now let's go ahead and test this. So I'm gonna click on verify settings and the test was successful. So now we just need to enable it. So I'll click on enable and ta-da, congratulations. You guys now have Facebook and Google integration on your WordPress website. Now you can test this at any time. So what I'll do is go to my website. Now I am using the essential steam. It's a, it's a really nice theme. Actually. It's really, it's really flashy. It's, it's beautiful. I have it on my website, darylwilson.com, but, uh, enough of that. So here I'll go to uh, log out and here we go. So now we have the continue with Facebook and continue with Google. So before we log into Facebook, I just want to double check everything on the app. So I actually missed the app domains. <laughs> so make sure you have the actual domain that you, uh, for your website right here under the app domains, make sure the display name is there and just make sure everything is filled out. Cause if one thing's not filled out correctly, Facebook will not integrate it properly. So here I'll go to save changes and, uh, yeah, everything is all ready to go. So make sure your site URL is there. And now that that's all set up and done, we'll go back to our websites and I'll click on continue with Facebook. And awesome. I am already logged in. So it's a very simple process to get it integrated with Facebook and Google. Uh, if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to let me know if the authentication failed. It's probably because there is something that you missed. Make sure go ahead and double check everything. Um, also, if you guys want to uh, check out a review on this specific theme, I do have a review on this theme. I know it looks great. I currently built my website with it, darylwilson.com. You guys want to take a look at it here. Uh, this is using the same theme. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and see my review on it, I'll leave that uh, review in the description below. It's a great theme. But uh, yeah, my name is Daryl Wilson, and I'll see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.